Hello to part 4 of the Enhanced E-Commerce series where we will actually start looking at the actual implementation and uh, as covered in I think it was part 2 I see there is a couple different imp interesting features and this part we will look at registering impressions and clicks on product level. Um, so this is technical if you get problems just go to the website here java.com or write me here and we will get you know, into it, and I can probably help you with the uh, with stuff. React person does stuff, and uh, it is a little bit technical. Uh, and especially if you have a production website, it's worth uh, getting some help. But let's look into it right away. So, what is this impression product tracking thing? Well, thing is, when you have a range of products uh, on search pages, categories, uh, browsing, branding pages, whatever, different page, different products get different kind of impressions, uh, meaning that some products are seen more than others and some products convert better than others. So that's why we want to register product details, uh, you know, like how many have, have seen these, and also how many click them. Because let's just say that you have a product that converts really well, but it's not shown a lot. It's probably worth looking into getting that shown a little bit more often, higher up in the results and so forth. Uh, and also very interesting, uh, which is a little bit similar, is on product pages, you can actually register product details. So if you just, let's just say that you have uh, a bookstore and you have like a link saying, see more details, then you can actually register that click. Uh, so could people, you know, so when people want to see more about the product, you can see if it converts better and it just gives a lot of interesting data. But how do we implement it? Well, here's a couple of links. And it's, the thing is, I could, you know, like thousands of slides on how to actually, you know, screenshots and web shops and code and everything, but I want to explain it from this document and then I'll show the Google Tag Manager parts uh, also. So I'm going to click on this link. How does it work? They played it. So this is the official guide mm -hmm. Google gives, which you, which you want to implement using Google uh, Tag Manager. It's also worth looking into the guide, the link to here, the data types and actions. Uh, but if you just start with the link here, what you want to do is on every page where you want to have uh, product listings, this could be search pages, branding pages, browsing pages, category pages, and maybe even uh, the front page if you want, uh, you, you, you have to make the following call in the data layer. You make the data layer push where you just give the currency uh, and you give the, for every product you have, you give this data here. The data here for impressions are actually found here. Um, this is the data, data they use. Some are required, these first two and the rest are just optional. You can you can fill out as you want. And then you actually list it here. And this will give an impression, which is actually uh, pretty, uh, pretty simple. How you do this in Tech Manager is also really simple. They have this guide here. I'll just show it very quickly. We have Tech Manager here. What we want to do is to create a new tag and do this by going here like you normally would and you can call it like whatever like VA e in e-commerce uh, impressions just call it whatever and tag type you're gonna pick uh, universal analytics like this and tracking ID uh, what I normally do is just have a, have a macro I actually have one here and pages ready for us um, what you could do is go in macros and create it this is just your normal Google Analytics tracking ID and this one here is a page view and then you have to follow the guide here. They have a guide. And they say enable enhanced e-commerce true, use data layer true. So you go into advanced settings, more settings, sorry. And you say enhanced e-commerce features, enable, enable. And then you want to say what the next guide is. It is document path, it should be this one here. So you're going to go up here and find the basics configuration. And the document path should be this. Where did it go? There we go. There it is. It should be like that. And then the firing rule uh, should be uh, equal to this one here. Uh, so add a new firing rule here. Uh, maybe you have it already. Uh, if not, uh, it's worth creating it here. So the rule name is just event equals DOM. And you have the event here equals here. And if we would save this now and, and save it, we would be good to go. It is worth mentioning, you could also, if you want to restrict it to only running on the front page, product page, browsing page, whatever, you can, could actually add some more firing rules over here and you'll be good to go. Regards to the clicking, um, this is a little bit similar. You, you simply just fire the click event here like you normally do for the data layer. And uh, you can see what's interesting here is you have which field cost. So if it's a search result, you can do it here. If it's a browsing, you have browsing. 
and then you have the product uh, that you want to click on. It's really simple, it's just a data layer, and this is how you implement it. Again, Tag Manager, you do the same here. You can actually, um, you have win category, win action, and just like we did before, you go in here and you, you, you add, add all this, and that's it. And then after this is done, you're actually uh, good to go with the clicks. Regarding the details, you have again, this is also a click, action fill in. If you look here, it's actually a little bit like the same click. Here is e-commerce click. Here it is e-commerce detail. Uh, you still have an action field and you click what product they have clicked on. And now you'll actually be able to get the views of, you know, product views in. Again, this is very similar to actually details. I actually think it's actually the same if you look at it, it's the same thing here. And um, when this is done, you will actually be good to go. Um, and you would now be tracking everything regarding the impressions. So if we go back to the actual guy here, um, these two here are worth looking into. You can also just Google Enhanced E-commerce Tech Manager, and it's, I think it's number one on Google. Uh, so by doing this, you can actually get the impressions on products. Uh, you can also see the full guide on java.com. You go to java.com, and you will go on the resources, and you can find this guide here, and you'll see the whole explanation. So I look forward to seeing you in the next guide, in part five, and uh, let's implement it, uh, impressions and clicks on promotions, which we'll look at in the next stop.